Hello there, and assalamu alaikum. Today's video is an introduction to the UI kits and how you can download and import them to your XD file. So let's get started. To download the UI kits, you need to go to File, then Get UI Kits. And these other options uh, we'll get to at a later video. For now, let's just click on Wireframes and uh, it shall open a web page. All right, there you are. Now from here, you see this link that says download kits. You need to click on this and it will download the kit to your computer in a zipped format. So let's just click on the file and it shall extract it to a folder. Now when you get into the folder, you'll find these two files, wires mobile and wires web. Since we are working on web, we'll click on it. You'll find a separate uh, XD document with everything blue on it. This is more like a template of so many things. So you'll find UI elements, landing sections, portfolios, forms, and much more here. Once you have access to this resource, I guarantee you won't be able to stop yourself from thanking the guy who made it. I have downloaded it for you. So if you wish to have it, just click on the link in the description section and you can have it. Since it has so many art bolts, it can be difficult to maneuver. Worry not, as XD has a solution for that as well. Just go to view and you'll find quite a few options that can be really helpful for you to quickly move around and navigate through a document such as this. The best one I like is zoom to selection and you can also find the shortcut which is command and number three on a Mac or control three on a PC where you click to select any item and then hit command three or control three and it will zoom into that item from a sea of options here. So let's see it in action. I'm selecting anything from the first artboard. I don't even know what I've selected as it is so tiny. And now I hit command three and you see it zooms in right to that selection in a fraction of a second. Alternatively, you can also use the option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and the mouse scroll wheel. So slide the wheel up to zoom in and down to zoom out. Command 2 will zoom in to 100% and Command 1 to 100% and um, it is always advisable to use 100% option while you are setting your fonts or shapes as uh, this is what your customers will eventually see. So if you set your fonts using a 300% or a 200% magnification, you'll tend to misjudge the size and weight of your fonts or strokes or shapes, etc. So let's bring it back to command zero, which is more like an aerial view of all the artboards together. So I need to borrow a header from the first artboard. So let me make a selection. And uh, do you remember the shortcut? Yes, you're right. It is command three on a Mac or control three on a PC. Once I've selected my header, I'll right click and copy it. And uh, you see, I can always move this artboard down using my left click and drag to reveal the one we're designing on. Alternatively, we can also go to window and you'll find the names of the different files that are open. So you can select your file from here as well. Now let's paste the header that we copied from the UI kit. You'll have to right click and paste it here. The moment you paste the header here, you'll find that it comes with a few other files on the left. These are symbols that the creator of this file must have used, also known as components presently. You'll also find that the header has a small link icon on top of it which means that this header is still linked to the source. So if we make any changes to this header here, it will be updated to the source file as well. Now, obviously we don't want that. So to unlink it, just right click on the header and select unlink component. And now it will divorce itself from the source file. And these files that presented themselves with the header have no meaning anymore. So you can always delete them by right clicking on them as they're not linked to our header anymore. Okay, so let's place the header on top, much like a menu bar you find in a lot of websites. 
And uh, let me show you what happens if I stretch the header to meet the page borders on either sides. So let me zoom in to show you what has happened. You see it has stretched the fonts as well along with the blue rectangle and it's also looking ugly with the text almost kissing the borders on either side. Can you guess why it happened? I'm sure you figured it out by now. It's because the header is grouped, so we need to ungroup it first before stretching it, so let's do that now. Let's right click and select ungroup option. You can also use the shortcut Shift Command G on a Mac or Shift Control G on a PC. And now click once anywhere on the screen but the header to unselect it. And then select the header once again and stretch it to the borders and you'll find it stretching itself, excluding all the text sitting on top of it. So you can click and move the texts individually now. Alright, so that is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed your learning through this video. So I shall see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.